Hey guys, Stark with Cycling FPV. Sorry about all the beeping. We've got a bunch of movement going on right now. Um, and I am, oh, sorry, got stuff in my eyes. Okay, so we're gonna, I wanna look at something here for, with you guys, and we're gonna do a picture in picture real quickly. And I'm gonna show you what's on the board here. Um, so here's what we got, right? Um, right now, in front of you, what, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at an F7 flight controller from HDLRC and a 60 amp ESC from HDLRC. And on this side, I've got a F4 flight controller from JHEMCU, and I've got a 55 amp ESC from JHEMCU, okay? What I also have is I have the cables that uh, come with these, or that can come with these. This is the HDLRC cable, and then this is the replacement cable if the cable you have is bad, because they had an issue with bad cables. This is actually what comes with the JHCMCU uh, ESC, not with the flight controller. And then this is the exact same cable, but it's terminated on both sides, okay? I'm gonna explain to you something here. What I'm seeing is I'm seeing an uptick in these boards frying, right? I'm, I'm seeing people having issues. And the biggest issue right now is that the manufacturers are sending out the cables, and understand that the cables are not made by, um, uh, sorry, bear with me a second. The cables are not made uh, by the manufacturers usually. These cables are made by a third party, and, and then they're included with the kit. So if there's a bad cable made, then you're getting a bad cable, okay? And that's what recently happened with some of the boards, and it's not just HDLC, there's a few other companies that had it. But I had a customer call me last night. Uh, we were doing uh, some work at about three o'clock in the morning, so I got some of my, and um, I, it brought to mind something I need to point out to you guys. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna look at the JHCMCU, okay? So here's the deal. This board comes with this, uh, this uh, harness. Understand that the harness is not, it's just tinned on the other side. It is not terminated and, and plugged on the, or capped on the other side. It is, uh, is left open and tinned. So here's how this works. If you wanna know the wire pattern here, it's like this. Uh, VBAT, current sensor, ground, no use. I don't know why this wire is on here, but again, the wire was probably, the cable was most likely made by a third party, and therefore they just included that as part of their standard harness, but there's a no use on this cable. Fourth wire is gonna be signal three. Fifth wire is gonna be signal one. Sorry, uh, sorry, the yellow is the fourth wire actually. So the fifth wire is uh, three, sixth is one, seven is four, and eight is two. So again, let's look at this. It's like I'm speaking and you're giving me a wrong answer Sorry. when I say something. <laughs> it's our a scanning system and it tells you if you've got the right product or not. So again, we're gonna go VBAT is red, current sensor is yellow, I mean is uh, white, God darn it. Ground is black, the no use, no cable option is yellow, and then three, one, four, and two, okay? Great. So I had a customer yesterday take this cable and basically make himself this, okay? So he lined everything up and he took a cable like this one. Now I'm gonna show you what this cable is basically. And we carry these, these are standard cables. You've seen them all over the place, but there's a little difference between these and the other cables. See, these are tabbed on one side and then flat on the other. So tabbed and flat, right? So what that means is I, I can see the tabs here, meaning I could pry the tabs open and pull the wire out on one side. On the other side, it's flat. I can't get to any of the tabs. What that means is when I fold it over, I call these, a, this is a pass-through cable. Meaning if I fold it over, just literally take it and fold it over, Everything passes right through. Pins are on the top, pins are on the top. I plug it into a board and it literally just passes through from one board directly to the top, uh, to the board on top of it. All the wires are identical, okay? On the flip side, if you take like an HDLRC cable that comes with their stuff, you have inverted, which means the sides are the same. It's either flat and flat or it's tabbed and tabbed. But when you flip it over, what happens is the cable is the top pins on one side and the bottom pins on the other. So when you flip it over like this, you're basically inverting the cable because you now have the red wire, which is your VBAT, which was on the top pin, is now on the bottom pin. So if both your boards are sitting as top pins, you've got to flip this board over. So it basically takes the VBAT from one side and you flip it over to match top pin to top pin and it sends it to the other side. Great, makes sense, fine, hopefully it does. It should be pretty simple, but that's not really the concern. First thing I wanna to point out to you is, guys, you need to make sure that you're using the right cable. Just because the colors are the same, just because it's the same pin size, does not mean the cable can be swapped. If you take this cable and you plug it in, let's look at our HDLRC. If you take this cable, cause hey, you thought it was this one or you got them all mixed and you just grabbed it, you said, okay, cool, I'm gonna use this cable. And you plug it into the HDLRC like this, right? And then you take the uh, flight controller and you say, okay, cool. And I'm just going to, let me line it up and bam. Okay, great. You're all set, right? 
battery is red here, and it's a red cable, you're set. Problem is, is you've just sent the battery, uh, uh, the VBAT into the current on this side, and where the battery is here, this is actually um, going into the RX on this side. So you're about to send a, because if you've got your XT60 here, you're about to send your LiPo power straight into your RX on this side. Okay, you're gonna blow the board. You're gonna fry it. No matter what, I've done it, trust me. We did it 10 times to test uh, a lot of different things. We were working on it. And one of the things that we noticed was there were some uh, issues going on with the cables. So as part of the testing, we were testing different uh, harnesses out of the bag without looking to see if any manufacturers made mistakes. And they didn't. They actually sent the right harness. It was the customers that were making the mistakes by mixing their harnesses together. So the first thing you wanna do is please, keep track of the cable you need and understand that just because the colors may be the same, they don't represent the same connection when you're using. Now on the flip side, if you take the JHTMCU and you were to take a cable like this one here, which fails on the HTLRC, but on the JHTMCU, if you were to take that, you would plug this in like this, okay? And you would take this and you would flip it over and you would bring it up here. And this actually, except for one small thing that I'm gonna show you guys, this actually works because it happens to be that the VBAT is on the same side here when you lay these on top. Both sides have pins up and both sides have VBAT. All the things line up exactly the same. So now if you took the HGLRC cable and you plugged it in, you would end up, to get this to plug in here properly, you would end up sending your VBAT into your signal two here and you would end up sending your uh, signal two into your VBAT on this side and you would damage this board as well. So again, the cables look the same color wise, wire wise, but the connections are completely different, all right? So please make sure you pay attention to that. Here's the other thing I wanna show you. Another thing you need to keep watch for, <clears throat> and this is a common stack here. This is a stack that was in the Batman, I believe, uh, and it, I don't know what else it was in, but this is a common stack that was used. <coughs> HGLRC <clears throat> will give you, will use a harness, but you need to be careful about something. You see, on here, this is the edge to LRC, one of the cables, right? So on here, the battery is away from me. It's on this end right here, okay? Right there, it says bat, okay? So I'm gonna take this cable and I'm gonna plug it in. Cool, great. Now, on this side, battery's over here, okay? So literally, if you, if you leave the ESC sitting like this, if you turn it over, it's different. But nonetheless, if you leave it sitting like this, to get this to plug in and to make sure you don't short it out, you have to twist the wire. Okay, and sure enough, VBAT from here lines up with the battery input here, or so the battery input here, uh, output, I mean, lines up with the VBAT, uh, the battery input here, okay? So this is perfect, and that's why these go twisted. Now, if you, if you don't, if you lay the board like this, you don't have to twist the wire, it'll just make a nice ribbon cable and there's no twist to it, right? So that looks good, and this works, okay? One problem. The problem is, is that your UART here is on the end, and that is your UART 7. However, on the end here is your current. So even here with a cable that you're using, okay, to match this up properly, this is the TX here, and this is the, let me get this back over, this is the RX here. You still have to go in here and you're gonna pull the pin. Now, I'm gonna tell you you would pull the pin as opposed to trying to do any resource changing. You would pull these pins and swap them because most customers don't know to do anything else, right? So you can't expect them to say, oh my gosh, the company sent me this ribbon and I'm gonna plug it in and hey, look, it matches here, the colors line up. Okay, so there's red for, for battery, that makes sense. And then over here, I'm gonna plug it in and look at that, it says battery, oh, that makes sense. So I'm gonna trust everything else is good. There you go, you can't do that. You need to pay attention to also, in case you get a wrong uh, ribbon, or in case there's a problem, you need to make sure that everything lines up properly. Don't just stop at the colors. Look at everything else and make sure that the last pins match. They don't in this case. You need to make that change or be aware of that, okay? But here's the kicker too. With JHCMCU, this is interesting. So JHCMCU uses, this cable comes with it, which if you were to terminate on both ends, it would look like this. So this is fair for right now. The problem is, is on their ESC, this pin four, cable four, is an NC cable, meaning is there's no cable, it's not supposed to be used. The problem is on their flight controller, it's a five volt uh, input, right? So here you go. Now, 
they don't give you the cable terminated to plug in like that. So they, I don't hold them responsible for this because they're not sending me this cable and saying, go for it. This is just a standard cable that's on the market, a pin cable. But I had a customer do this yesterday and I think it makes sense. It, as a mistake, it makes sense, it could happen. He's got a cable like this one. He's like, okay, it's fine. Everything lines up great. I'm gonna plug it in, perfect. All right, it's a pass through. So when I plug it in here, it lines up, perfect. We're good. Problem is, is it fried the board. And he wrote me and I called him uh, about three in the morning and we're doing a video chat and I'm actually doing this on my table. I'm like, well, let me check something out. So I did. And what turns out is, turns out, and we're gonna test this right now because I have another board right here and it was wired up for testing. What I believe happened is, even though this is a no use cable from the ESC, by plugging it into the five volt into the board, into the flight controller, we've burned out the flight controller. So we're gonna test it now though. This board is toast, okay? I've already broke, I broke this board this morning, but now I'm gonna do one live on this video and we're gonna see if it also breaks. So I'm gonna, let me remove my soldering here, right? I also was doing this too. I was tra tracing down the um, bad, uh, uh, if there was a bad regulator or step down. So this board works, and just to show you that, I'm just gonna plug it in. You see it light up, all three colors. Uh, you got green, blue, and red, and then you can hear it on the window screen, okay? Now, this one does not. When you plug it in, I don't even know if you're gonna get a light right now. You won't get a light anymore, but that's because I took off some components on here, but it'll just stay solid green, okay? <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to disconnect the, um, the no-use cable which in this case is gonna be cable number four, okay? So I'm gonna pull the pin on cable number four, uh, and that is going to be, for me, on this harness, that will be the one, two, three. I'm gonna pull the white cable, okay? So let me just pull the white cable here. One, two, three. Two. Okay, so let's pull this out. Okay. Now, as far as everything else goes, I'm going to leave it in here because I want to test something else later. As far as everything else goes, now this lines up. I don't care what the colors are. It lines up perfectly. Okay. So there's that. And now I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to plug this in here. Okay. And this loose cable represents the five volt right here, but it, it, there's nothing here. Okay. So this is just it's going to stay loose. Now I'm going to plug in the uh, alligator clips here and we're going to give this board power we're going to see if this flies as well okay and here it goes so good luck i don't want to fry two boards but it's for you know we have to test it right so here it goes okay so look at that by powering this up without that cable added we have no problem Everything works perfect. Now I do want to see, I do want to do voltage on here and I want to test, do you need me? No, it's okay, it's Okay, I want to test this real quick. So I'm going to take my ground here. I'm going to touch this and I want to make sure. Okay, this is actually giving me an output now of five volts. So what we end up doing is, this is actually creating a five volt output from the flight controller, okay? And so theoretically, if you look at this, this turns around and it hits here, and that's what's frying this board. So if you try to use a cable, and you don't realize that that cable doesn't have a use here, it's very similar to like this, this example I gave you here. You've got these cables, but they don't line up, meaning you've got something inverted on the board. Next thing you know, you're frying a board, okay? And that's what happened here. I hate to test this. Hold on one second, I'll be... Okay, so getting back to this, again, I can tell you that the minute I plug this in, if I was to put this harness back together, it's gonna to do what it did on this board and it's gonna fry it, okay? And what it does actually is it blew out the 3.3 volt. So I, th I believe it actually damaged the processor at this point because I have not been able, I've pulled everything out on here possible, tried to put in new step downs, still not fixed, but I'm gonna do a little bit more investigating on that. So lesson one, please make sure that you do not just assume that things are gonna line up. If an ESC says no cable and the harness has a cable, don't think that that cable's okay to use. Remove the cable, especially if you're gonna to try to do this. Now, imagine if you actually use the harness that came with the JHEMCU, that's this one here. So as you're wiring this up, you're like, okay, well this says no cable. Well, what would you do with it then? You wouldn't just wire it to something, you would remove it. Rightfully so, you should get in here, you should go to, you should go to number four, 
right? You would go to number four, let me see, one, two, three, four. Lift up the tab, pull the yellow cable out. Uh, if I got it right, hold on, I may not have lifted it up light. I'm gonna end up pulling the wrong one, I know it. There, it's harder to do when you're not using the magnifying glass. So pull it out, now all of a sudden, your wires match up properly, okay? But if you go with a harness, that's what it should look like, okay? But if you go with a harness, <clears throat> wherever I put it here, uh, this one, right, that's just straight through, you're gonna end up shorting this board out. And this isn't the only board that you're gonna have that problem with. Let me go back to the HDLRC for a second and show you something else, okay? So here's the HDLRC and here is a, a uh, wiring diagram for that board, okay? Now, I, you probably can't read this where you're at, but I just want to show you something here. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll switch you over to the, to the microscope real quick. So let me just show you this. This will make it uh, here, there. Okay, sorry about that. All right. So here's the wiring diagram, the pinout. I've got to find it here. It's right here. Let's see if I can get you this. Okay. Uh, nope, that's not it. This one. Holy cow. It's so much harder to find your spot on this thing. There. My God, I'll get it eventually. Okay, check that out, right? So that is, this is for this board that we're working on right now. This is the what the pinout looks like, okay? But look at the ESC. I'm gonna lay the ESC over it so you can see that. Here's the ESC, okay? Now, obviously the wire, the cable that they give us is it basically inverts it, right? So we understand battery here matches battery here. Ground matches ground. Now, the, <clears throat> the ESCs don't match at all. This, this is just ridiculous. I don't know what happened here. Here they went in order, and here they went all whopping. This matches more like the um, uh, JTMCU version, okay? <clears throat> so no matter what, if you plug this wire in, your ESCs are not gonna line up uh, because even if you flip it, let me just verify here. So cable three here is gonna be one, which is gonna become cable three over here, which is gonna be S3, okay? Cable four here is S2, that's gonna become S1. Sorry, is that four, yeah. Cable five is S3, which will be S4. Cable six is S4, which will be S2. Now here's the funny part. So now you have your, your uh, current and your uh, ESC telemetry, right? So your TX here is your second to last cable, which is gonna actually go into your current over here instead of your RX. And you know it goes RX to TX, TX to RX, and then your current is over here, needs to go over here to go with the current sensor. So these two are screwed up, okay? But the cable doesn't reflect that. So what you have to do for this to work, this is really strange, but it's, again, it's a matter of you guys having to pay attention. You've got to take this cable and you've got to do the following. On either side, you have to take the last cable, because we know that this works on the flight controller. If we plug the red in here, right? There. So on the flight controller, if we do this, our current becomes green. But we know our current on this one is the second to last, and it's not the last. So let's go ahead. You would have to pull this pin up here, pull that tab, and pull this tab. Remove both wires, like this. I'm trying here, so hang tight. And you gotta do this without breaking the tab. This is the interesting part. So, and I'm having the hardest time right now. Let me see if I can get both of these out. No. Nope. I'm afraid these tabs are about to give because those are all the way up. So let me let me try to pull them from the other side then. I don't wanna break this harness because it's gonna kind of not help show you what I'm trying to get at here. So let me just go to the other side then. And already you can kind of see, I mean, this is kind of a hassle. So we're gonna leave this in here like it's supposed to be then. We're gonna come over here and try to change. Maybe I have better luck removing the wires from here. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up and I'm gonna to try to take out the yellow cable or the green cable that is. Okay, that's almost out. There it is, green cable's out. And now I'm gonna lift up the second to last one and I'm gonna take out the yellow cable. No, I think I just broke that tab, that's all right. Take the yellow cable out and I'm gonna put the yellow cable where the green cable was. And I'm gonna put the green cable where the yellow cable was. All this hassle because 
we're not getting the harnesses, you know, they're not staying consistent with the way they do their, their, their wiring, right? And it's not just this company, it's, it's a lot of them. I mean, there's a lot of them, okay? So here goes. So now we have inverted, we have swapped the cables. So now when we plug it in, and I did break that tab, but that's all right. For the purpose of showing you this, it makes sense, okay? Now look, if you look at this straight out, you can see now we have the yellow cable here, but it's switched over. It's the second to last here, but it's the last here. So now we do have current to current, uh, TX to RX, okay? TX here to RX here. So even when you get the same manufacturer, the cable, the, the way the har harnesses are done don't necessarily line up right. What you end up having is fried boards or boards that don't function properly. In the case of JHCMCU, they didn't send the wrong cable, but the customers are assuming that, hey, you know what? It lines up, it's an eight pin, it's an eight pin. I've got one laying around. Let's just go ahead and plug it in. Boom, there we go. And we're gonna do it by color, which is the worst thing people do is, I, they use these by color, which makes no sense to me. So, oh yeah, red means battery. So if it's red, it must be battery. Oh, there we go. Well, yeah, no, that's not how it works, okay? Because they can invert these all day long and you wouldn't know. <clears throat> so if you take that harness like this one and you plug it in, guaranteed you're gonna fry this board the minute you turn power on, okay? Hate to do this, but uh, I mean, I, I actually, I'm not gonna do it. I usually would go ahead and risk frying the board. I'm not gonna do it anymore because you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I've already got one fried. If I put this cable back in where it was, this board's shot, okay? So guys, look, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, here's the deal. I get, and, and this, no disrespect to anybody because I know I get the frustration. Probably 80% of the emails I get from my customers start off with, got this board from you, plugged it in, won't start up, lights, lights are locked or started smoking immediately or whatever. It must be something wrong with the board. No, okay? It's not, there's not. It's, it's not, don't assume this. What you have to do is, and, and don't take off the cable and think we're not gonna figure it out, okay? Because my job when I say send it in, I'm gonna check it out is I put it on the bench. I test all these things because I know what the common problem is. I know what most people are doing and it's not to like bust you for it. Now I'm gonna tell you this, Last night, the customer owned up to it before it even started. He said, hey, man, I think this was on me. And I'm like, you know what, bud? I'm going to take care of you. Because you didn't sit here and try to BS me through, oh, it's a manufacturer, blah, blah, blah. So as soon as I said, hold up your cable, I want to see it, it hit him immediately. And he got it. And I appreciate that. But the emails of, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Excuse me. Bless you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Lord. Excuse it's, me. It's okay. Um, the emails of, it's a manufacturer, it's bad, that's not it. What it is, is people are not taking the time to look at the diagrams, to look at the silk screening on the board. I mean, it says right here. If you read it, it'll tell you what these are. Make sure when you plug them in, they're going to the same thing. Just because the colors match, I can give you a harness where the VBAT isn't red, but it lines, it plugs into the VBAT. You can make these any way you want. I've got a batch of them back, there, about 200 of them that are done wrong. All right, so I can't use them. I mean, I'll use them for me, but I can't use them for you guys because people look at the colors and they don't bother to check it out. So please be more conscious of what you're doing. Don't necessarily think the manufacturer did it wrong. They make you a board. They give you instructions. They give you the silk screening. I'm not on their side in the sense that everything they do is perfect. They make mistakes. Trust me, I, we see them. But when the mistake is because the customer isn't reading or taking their time, when the end user is just going, 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 I know this. I built for three years. This is what I heard from one guy two weeks ago. I've been doing this for three years. I don't care. It means nothing to me. Okay, what matters to me is, have you read the directions at all during those three years? Have you stopped and looked at the instructions? Sorry, that's not mine. Or do you just think, hey, I know what the color red means, so therefore I'm gonna plug it in, not as understanding that it may be wrong this time. Maybe somebody made the cable wrong, okay? Please take your time, guys, and check this out because these boards, when you send them, I'm not refunding them. I mean, I, I can't, it's, it's user error. And the manufacturer's gonna look at me and say the same thing. So please take your time and try to understand the equipment you're using. <clears throat> One of the things that we're gonna be starting is we are gonna start doing the tinning for you and the testing for you at no charge before I ship items out, okay? You can opt for it and uh, there'll be some restrictions. I mean, it's, it's like, you know, because I don't want to cause too many delays, but at the same time, I wanna show you guys that the board's tested and works. So you can't say I just got it and it doesn't work, all right? Anyways, I hope that helps guys. Keep your eyes on these things, please pay attention. Watch for these harnesses. They had a whole batch in March that came out that were bad. So we're having to replace them, like HDRC sending replacements. Some other companies are too. Don't assume that everything's what it is, okay? Please take your time to read it. Even if it's a stack, 
that you get on your pre-built drone, like this one from HGLRC, don't assume that everything passes through right and it's made for each other. They're not, okay? They've just put two pieces together that work, okay? All right, guys, if you have any questions, please hit me up uh, going through the website. I'm sorry if this is long-winded, but I'm trying to save you guys on your equipment, okay? So please slow down, take your time. <coughs> also, if you don't mind, please follow us on Facebook, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, and uh, if you got any sushi laying around, I'm really hungry, babe. Getting hungry. I could use some sushi. Spicy tuna, please, if you don't mind. All right, guys. God bless. Spend time with your family. Please make the most of it. You don't know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it and fly drones when, you, when, when you're done. Okay? Talk to you later, guys. Peace.